Hi, my name is Max Bromberg. I'm flute builder and musician, and I explain to you here the basics of overtone flute playing. I hold the overtone flute towards myself with a labium and I blow into the slit up here while completely closing the flute with my lips so that I can blow air into the channel. Now I'm holding the flute by making a V with my thumb and index finger, putting the flute in its center. Then I can close the hole with my middle finger while holding the flute in my thumb and index finger. This way I can hold the flute with one hand. When I blow lightly, the deep tones arise. The stronger I blow, the higher the tones become. To reach the higher tones and to play them more clearly, I use my tongue and create a kind of T sound. When I close the hole below, I have a second scale. By itself, it sounds a little out of tune. When I have the hole open, it is a clear overtone scale that is harmonious. When I play the two scales together by opening and closing the end hole, I get the common scale for playing. So I play, leaving the hole open, then closing, opening and then closing, opening and then closing. Through varying blowing pressure, I create different high tones, opening and closing, one after another, so that the two scales can weave together. There are also some special effects I can create, for example, a trolling by putting my finger at the bottom of the hole. or by letting the tongue vibrate. Or I can tune the tone up by blowing more strongly. Or I can tune the tone downwards by closing the hole with my finger slightly. With all this I can create a beautiful and broad range of sounds. This flute here has a special feature, a half-tone hole, with which I can create half-tones. This enables me to play more different melodies, for example, melodies in a minor scale. I'm going to play a song for you.
I hope this helped you. I wish you much joy in learning to play overtone flute. And if you are still missing a good overtone flute, contact me. I will gladly build one for you.